Hi everyone and welcome to this spare repair. If you've cleaned or replaced the throttle body on your car, it's necessary to do a relearning or reset procedure. Without it, the car's engine may not work properly, it may idle roughly, and the gas pedal response may be sluggish or jerky. Doing a reset with an OBD tool is one of the easiest yet effective methods to get rid of this issue, and this is what we'll show you in this video. So stay tuned. DespairRepair.com Be sure to visit us at our website DespairRepair.com where you can find more useful car and driving tips. If you don't have an OBD tool then watch our other video where you can see some other simple ways to reset a throttle body. They are worth trying if you don't have this option. Also watch our videos about cleaning the throttle body where we show you how to do it with or without removing it from the engine. All of the links for the videos are either in the cards in the corner or in the video description. First of all, know that you'll need an OBD tool that has the option for doing a throttle body reset. Not all of them have this. In this case, we're using the Xtool D5S OBD tool, which is a very well made and well equipped tool that has Besides this, many other useful options such as maintenance light resets, headlight adjustments, electronic parking brake reset and else. Besides this, on the tool you have standard options like reading DTC codes, resetting the check engine light, live scans of your engine parameters and much more. If you're interested in buying one, you can find the link in the description of this video as well as a link to the Xtool official website where you can see their wide specter of high quality products both for amateurs and professionals. Now that you have the proper OBD tool, connect it and turn on the ignition. Don't turn on the engine, just the ignition. Let the OBD tool connect and then choose the special function button in the menu. Next, choose the throttle reset or relearn button. Then choose your car's manufacturer and let the OBD tool recognize it. Choose the throttle matching button and you'll get a nice clear instruction of what you're supposed to do next. So you're supposed to turn on the ignition. The battery has to have at least 11.5 volts. The engine should be cleared of all fault codes. You should not touch the accelerator pedal while the reset is being done. You should turn off all the electrical equipment and appliances on the car. And finally, the engine should be warmed up. Click OK and you'll see a menu appear where you have to choose channels. Every car has a specific channel for the throttle body reset procedure. Best find what channel is meant for your car. You can find it easily by googling it on the internet. In case of the Fabia, it is type 1, the 060 channel. Once you've chosen it, you'll hear the throttle body doing the reset. It will click and buzz while doing it. This doesn't last long, less than a minute. Once it's done, exit all the menus and start the engine. If everything is ok, the engine will start immediately, it will be running and idling normally. Next, disconnect the OBD tool and best take the car for a test drive. If the reset was successful, you should immediately notice improvements like that the gas pedal response is better, the acceleration is better and the jerky response when accelerating is gone. The whole relearning or reset procedure takes about 15 minutes or less provided you have the proper OBD tool. If you don't, we always recommend buying one since it's a one-time investment, but it will soon pay off especially if you're a fan of DIY car repairs and maintenance. The end result of the reset, if this was the problem with the throttle body in the first place, will be a smoother drive, better overall engine performance and you may get rid of that slight hesitation and delay when you press the gas pedal. 
So that's it for this time. We hope the video helps. Please like and subscribe. It's a huge help for what we're doing. Thanks for watching and thanks for your time.